As we begin talking about investments, such as simple and compound interest, we started talking about a lump sum of money that we put somewhere and came back several years later to see how much money was there. That's not how most investments work. Most investments, you're putting a little bit of money in every month or every few months over time, and you want to know how much is going to be in there at the end of that time. This type of an investment is called an annuity. And so our question is going to be, how do annuities work? And this is like your classic retirement account. You're going to put maybe $100 or $200 a month into an account every year, every month for 40 years. And then at retirement, you want to know if you're going to have enough to live comfortably. This type of investment is called a savings annuity. Because we're putting money in. We're making regular investments over time. And the formula for the savings annuity looks a little ugly, but once you understand the pieces of it, it's just plugging in the numbers we need and solving on our calculator. So the formula for a savings annuity is the final amount or future value is equal to the regular deposits times parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate divided by the number of compounds or deposits raised to the nk number of years times the number of compounds minus 1 all divided by the interest rate divided by the number of compounds. That is the big formula for a savings annuity, making regular investments over time. Let's make sure we define each of these variables that we see here. P sub n is the future value, or the final amount in the account. The D is the regular deposit. The R is the interest rate. And of course, we know that interest rate always must be a decimal. K is the number of deposits per year. And usually, we're making monthly deposits, but some people make weekly deposits or biweekly deposits. It really depends on how often you get paid. Usually, the deposits reflect that pattern. And finally, n is the number of years you're saving in this annuity. So let's see if we can use this formula to estimate how much is going to be in the account after some time. Let's say you invest $200 per month at 8% for 20 years. How much will you have? Well, using our formula there at the top of the screen, that final amount or future value is equal to the regular deposit of $200, parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate as a decimal is 0.08, divided by the number of deposits per year. We're doing it monthly, so there's 12 months in a year, raised to the number of years, which is 20, times again the number of deposits, which is 12, minus 1, all divided by the interest rate is 0.08, divided by the number of deposits, which is 12. And then we just have to put the whole thing in our calculator. Again, being careful, this comes up on 
a lot of our financial problems, that exponent needs to go in parentheses. So make sure you've got all those parentheses in the right place as you type it in the calculator. And at $200 per month at 8%, you'll find out after 20 years, you've got $117,804.08. What makes this final amount particularly interesting to me is if we think about the amount we deposited in the account, we put $200 a month times 12 months times 20 years. If I multiply that out, that means I put in $48,000. But when it comes time to take the money out, I have $117,000. We could think about that as the interest we've earned, the $117,804.08 is what's in the account, minus the $48,000 that I actually put in myself. That means I earned in 20 years $69,804.08 in interest. Wow. I've more than doubled my money in that 20 years. And that's why these annuities are considered a really good investment for retirement, because if you're investing for 20 or 30 or 40 years, you can get a very large return on your investment. And the question we're actually most interested in is, will I have enough money to retire? The question that retirees are often interested in or investors are interested in planning on retirement is how much should be invested each month, let's say this time at 6%, for let's say someone is 30 years from retirement, to have $1 million at retirement. Well, this is a very similar problem, but this time we don't know the monthly deposit, D, but we do know the final amount. The final amount is the $1 million. We don't know the deposit, parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0 0.06, divided by 12, because it says each month, 30 years times 12 minus 1, all over the interest rate, which is 0 0.06 divided by 12. We're trying to solve for the D. And so to get rid of the D, you notice the D is being multiplied by a fraction. It's an ugly fraction, but it's still a fraction. So to clear the fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal by flipping it over on both sides. So we're going to multiply by 0.06 over 12 in the numerator, and then parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus 0.06 divided by 12 to the 30 times 12 minus 1, close the parentheses. And when I do that on both sides, it'll divide out the fraction, leaving just the d behind. So again, I get something that looks really ugly. But I can just type it in my calculator like it is, as long as I'm careful with the exponent to put the exponent in parentheses. And so when I multiply 0 0.06 divided by 12, close the parentheses, times a million, divided by two parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, close the parentheses to the power of, in a new parentheses, 30 times 12, close the parentheses, minus 1, close the parentheses, what we're going to end up with is $995.50 per month is equal to the monthly deposit needed. And what's interesting about this, similar to before, thinking about our deposits, 
we're going to deposit $995.50 per month, 12 months a year, times 30 years, you're actually only investing $358,380 to end up with a million dollars at the end of the 30 years, which means our interest was that one million minus the three hundred fifty eight thousand three hundred eighty dollars that I actually put in the account and the interest I've earned is six hundred forty one thousand six hundred twenty dollars Wow not only have I doubled my money I've almost tripled my money in this case with the 30 years of investments. So that's kind of how we invest into our retirement, but then we stop working. Then we retire and we're going to start taking money out of that account each month in order to have money to live on. When we're taking money out of the account, it's a different type of annuity. It's no longer a savings annuity. It now becomes a payout annuity. And now, instead of making regular deposits over time, we're making regular withdrawals over time. And again, we have a formula. It's a similar but slightly different formula. Don't get these mixed up. This is when I'm taking money out of the account. So the initial amount is equal to the regular withdraw, parentheses, 1 minus, parentheses, 1 plus r over k to the negative nk, close parentheses, divided by r over k. These variables represent very similar to what they did before. p sub 0 is the principal. or initial amount, call it the initial balance. When you start withdrawing, how much money was in the account? The D, this time instead of the regular deposit, is the regular withdrawal. R is the interest rate. Of course, as a decimal. K is the number of withdrawals per year. And N is the number of years. So very much the letters meaning much the same stuff. This is our payout annuity, money coming out of the account over time. Let's try a couple of these examples. Let's say at retirement, you want to withdraw. $2,000 per month for 25 years. From an account that earns 9% interest. How much do you need? Well, again, we're withdrawing money. So we're going to plug it into our withdrawal payout annuity. D is the amount with withdrawing each month. I want $2,000 a month, parentheses. 
1 minus parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0.09, divided by, or withdrawing monthly, so divide by 12. To the negative, it's 25 years times 12, all over the interest rate of 0.09, divided by the 12. And again, I just have to put this in my calculator making sure I'm very careful that the entire exponent, including the negative, all end up in a parentheses. And I find out all I need in the account is $238,323.24. If I have that much in the account, I should be able to withdraw $2,000 a month for 25 years. Or what often happens is people get to retirement and they look in their account and say, here's how much I have. How much do I get each month? Let's say you have $700,000 in your account. at retirement. If you want to take withdrawals for 20 years, and the account earns 7%, how much can you withdraw each month? You've worked hard your whole life. You've made it to retirement. You've got 700 grand in retirement. What's your monthly income going to be? Well, this time we know the final amount, the P sub 0 of 700,000. What we're solving for is D, the regular withdrawal, times 1 minus parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0.07 divided by, we're doing monthly withdrawals, divided by 12, 20 years, so times negative 20 times 12, close the parentheses, divided by the 0 0.07 divided by 12. And very similar to the other annuity, the savings annuity problem where we were solving for D, we can get rid of the fraction next to D, regardless how ugly it is, by multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal puts the 0.07 over 12 on top, and the parentheses 1 minus 1 plus 0.07 over 12 to the negative 20 times 12 on the bottom. And that clears out the fraction. And that leaves us with something ugly to type in our calculator. But if we're careful with parentheses, especially around the exponent. We can type this in the calculator exactly like it looks with all the parentheses. And we find out D, our monthly withdrawal for 20 years, will be $5,427.09 per month. It's a good $60,000 plus a year salary should be able to live on that very comfortably. We can actually put both the concepts of the savings annuity and the payout annuity together, because they're really talking about the same account. Initially, money goes in while you work, and then later money comes out while you retire. So let's look at an example where you decide at a very young age, your retirement plan 
is that you want to withdraw four thousand per month for twenty five years. When you retire, in 40 years. The idea here is you start working at the age of 25 or so when you graduate college, and you work for 40 years to about 65. Then you live another 25 years to about the age of 90. So you want $4,000 per month in those 25 years of retirement. If the account averages or earns 10% per year, how much should you deposit each month? So there's really two questions here. First, we need to know how much is needed to last those 25 years of retirement. Then we need to know how much is actually deposited to get that amount. So first, how much is needed? If you're going to be withdrawing $4,000 per month, this is a payout annuity. So the how much is needed, P sub 0, is equal to 4,000 per month times 1 minus 1 plus the interest rate, which is 10% over 12, to the negative 25 years of retirement times 12 withdrawals per year, all divided by 0.10 divided by 12. And I can put that in my calculator as long as I'm extra careful to put parentheses around the exponent, including the negative. The amount of money I'm going to need for this retirement plan is $440,188.92. Seems like a lot, almost half a million dollars. But fortunately, I'm starting young, which gives me lots of time to save that up. I need to know how much deposited currently. I'm only 25. I got lots of time to figure this out. This is a savings annuity where we know the final amount is what we just calculated. We want $440,188.92. And looking at the payout annuity formula, which is similar but different, is the monthly deposit times, parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus 0.10 divided by 12 raised to the 40 years of work times 12 minus 1, all divided by the 0.10 divided by 12. Again, we can clear the fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal, which means on the left side, 0.10 divided by 12, all over the parentheses, parentheses, 1 plus 0.10 over 12 to the 40 times 12 minus 1. Close the parentheses. And as I put this in my calculator, I'm going to be very careful to put parentheses around the exponent, put parentheses around all the other required parts. And that'll just leave me with the deposits on the right. And the surprising thing is all I have to deposit is $69.61 each month. For just under $70 a month, I should be able to retire on this account making $4,000 per month. That's the power of compound interest when you have time on your side. So if I teach you nothing else in this class as you watch these videos, 
Start investing in your retirement at a very young age, and your little investment can go a very long way. But for now, we're going to transition for you to practice some of these problems on the homework. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck to you as you look at investing and pulling money out of annuities.